These are the images of the cooking contest of indigenous vegetables in Sabah district, Lao Cai. At the contest, some vegetables of the northwestern Vietnam as brazica, brazica jiangxi, and lysium Chinese was processed into many different dishes and introduced to the guests coming from other provinces. This is one of the promotional activities of indigenous vegetables. Under the project, increasing safe productions, promotion, and utilization of indigenous vegetables by women in Vietnam. Khi mà người tiêu dùng đến đây thì là là có thể thưởng thức được được thưởng thức ở các cái nhà hàng ở Sapa và người ta sẽ từ đó mà sẽ nâng cái tầm quan trọng của sản phẩm lên và thực sự là những cái sản phẩm này là rất là ngon và rất đặc biệt thì um, người ta có thể đến và và đây cũng là một cái nguồn tiêu thụ cho người dân rất là là lớn và từ đó mà cái 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 tầm um, quảng bá của sản phẩm nó không phải chỉ dừng lại ở địa điểm như là Sapa như là Bắc Hà mà người tiêu dùng các nơi người ta đến đây the project was implemented by Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research, Vietnam Women's Union, and its partner in 2008 to 2012, being implemented in two provinces of Lao Cai in Phú Tho. The project helped farmers realize the nutritional values and benefits of indigenous vegetables. Simultaneously, it organized training courses for farmers to improve agricultural practices. This is one of the typical agricultural cooperation projects in Vietnam, conducted to support the Northwestern people to improve livelihoods and change their productions and business. Hello and welcome to Sharing Vietnam on VTC10 Nepvet Among Yen. In our program today, we'll have a talk to Dr. Susan Newman, an Australian expert who has a lot of experiences working in the agricultural area of Vietnam. And today, she will share about the topic of the efforts of building this sustainable and effective vegetable farming system in northwestern of Vietnam. Thank you, Dr. Susan Newman, for joining our program today. First of all, how do you feel about the current situation of vegetable farming in northwestern of Vietnam? The vegetable sector in northwest Vietnam faces many challenges. So rapidly transforming markets, um, competitiveness from peri-urban and regional producers, poor infrastructure and logistics and environmental sustainability. The provinces that we work in in the northwest are also some of the poorest provinces in Vietnam with 40% of the population below the poverty line. And not only that, but there's also a great ethnic diversity within those communities. So ethnic minorities dominate the regions with Hmong, Tay, Nung, Thai groups. Um, and the Vietnamese government is really focused on helping improving the livelihoods of those communities. How have people's livelihood changed after joining the project of promoting the production and utilization of indigenous vegetable farming in northwestern Vietnam? So our project really focused on connecting farmers to markets. Um, so indigenous vegetables is an unusual product and they have a real niche market. So in the Hanoi markets and in other urban markets, the prices are really high and people are interested in eating these vegetables. So it's more about getting the vegetables from the production areas to the urban markets in Hanoi. And so that was the real challenge that we focused on trying to connect those farmers to markets. So I guess one of the success stories in the project was the formation of Ditang Cooperative in Baka, um, where a group of women came together to market, to grow and market their vegetables and to, to really build on market opportunities in the Hanoi market and the Lao Cai market. So to give those vegetables an opportunity um, and to improve their incomes by doing that. What do you think about the social connections between the ethnic minority and the local community recently? I think that Vietnam is no different to any other country in the world where you have different ethnic groups. And so I think what we've really tried to focus on in the project is bringing those people together in a common goal. Like you're always going to have differences of opinion, 
but it's about trying to make those different groups work together and part of that is also about our team appreciating that and looking to make those connections start to happen. Our project is a little bit different in that it's a research for development project so we're not just a development project what we're trying to do is really um, enable farmers and others to really tackle the problems that they see and to come up with those solutions. So we're not about you know, giving products or anything like that. We're about trying to build solutions to problems. And I think we've had really good collaboration both with the farming community and also with other people in the supply chain such as wholesalers or traders or retailers. That has been a real strength, I think, of the project and connecting with those people. To continue the results of the project of promoting indigenous vegetables in northwestern Vietnam, Vietnam Women's Union and the University of Adelaide, Australia cooperated to launch the project, building the sustainable and effective production systems of vegetables in northwestern Vietnam since March 2014 with a broader scale. The overall objective of the project is to improve the connection between urban markets and farmers to improve profitability, finding measures to manage water, soil, and farming nutrition to build a sustainable vegetable production system. The main objects of the project are local women with ethnic minorities involved in the value change of horticulture. In the first phase, the project studied market analysis for indigenous vegetables and ordinary vegetables and surveyed the vegetable farms of the local households. Besides, the project also organized agent workshop to find out about the supply chain and market issues and opened classes on food safety and farming models for local farmers. Hồi xưa thì chưa chưa có cái dự án thì mình cũng chưa 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 kể thiên và chưa biết chỉ có trồng um, như là như là phong tục dân tộc mình thôi nhưng mà bây giờ um, có um, có cái dự án này thì mình được linh luống trồng này được nhiều cái uh, uh, phân đảo cho tốt mà hồi xưa thì chị em không không biết cách làm nếu như mà có sâu bệnh thì là bọn em lại tìm đến uh, bảo vệ thực vật để hỏi và tư vấn được tư vấn là dùng các cái loại thuốc mà có nguồn gốc từ sinh học và đảm bảo cái thời gian cách ly là ghi trên cái nhãn mát của bao bì sản phẩm từ năm ngoái đến bây giờ thì là cái việc tiêu thụ sản phẩm nó cũng có dễ dàng hơn nhiều ạ. Northwestern Vietnam is a mountainous region with strategic areas of the social economic development, national defense and security. In recent years, the economic structure of the Northwest has shifted positively and the poverty rate fell to 18.2% in 2014. The exploitation of the potential of agriculture and promoting international cooperation to develop local products like indigenous vegetables is the innovative and suitable solution for the region giving a fresh impetus to improve people's livelihood and economic investment, heading to a sustainable development in the future. After the success of the first project, can you share some information regarding to the second project? Of building the sustainable and effective vegetable farming system in northwestern Vietnam. So within the second project, we sought to build upon the strengths of the previous project, but also to look more broadly. So we've taken a farming systems approach because we know that these farmers' livelihoods, that vegetables are only part of the story. And so we really want to understand what makes up their whole livelihood in terms of maybe livestock, rice, temperate fruit, maize and how vegetables contribute to that. So we've been taking a whole farming system approach and we've also been looking for farmers to drive the research agenda rather than the researchers. So there are specific research questions that we have within our project that we want to know the answers to in terms of sustainability of vegetable production, how to manage nutrients well, how to manage diseases. 
but we also want farmers to choose what they particularly want to work on. And so we have part of the project where we just address those specific issues. So if it's a particular pest problem or a particular um, problem that they're having in the production of their crop, then that is what we will look at within that context. So um, we're seeking, I guess, in that case to broaden it, to it not just to be about um, the vegetables, but the whole farming system. What do you think about the role of Vietnamese women in building this system in northwestern Vietnam? So Vietnamese women are central to vegetable production and they're involved in all stages of the chain, I guess from production through to marketing and distribution. And in an earlier study within our project we found that in, depending on the commune in 62 to 93% of cases it was women that were primarily responsible for production and marketing of vegetables. So they're key to it. I think is what you can say. It's not that we're looking to increase the role of women within vegetable production because they're already playing the central role in it. Can you share about some achievements that this project has gained so far? We've really under got a good understanding of some of the markets in terms of like the provincial market in Lao Cai and we're starting also to explore what the opportunities are in China. So recently we did a study in Guangxi looking at the opportunities there and also the Hanoi market itself. So that's really, I guess, the first year of the project we've really focused on understanding those markets and then also looking at what are the opportunities for people to link to those markets. Uh, within the farming system side of the project, we've done a whole lot of baseline study looking at what are the key issues and also for the different farmer groups that we're working with, what are the things that they would like us to look at. So we've just started to get trials underway in the ground and so we're just starting to get some of the results from those trials. So I think really we're just starting to see the momentum of the project because there's always a bit of baseline work that you have to do before you get the results coming through. So I think the next year of the project will really start to build momentum and see those results coming through. What are the next plans to expand this vegetable farming system model to other areas outside of Northwestern? So one of the um, objectives that we have in the project is really to look at sustainable, um, sustainable systems for vegetable production and how do we take some of the models that we've developed within this project and expand them more. Mm -hmm. And so we realise that we're a research for development project, relatively small on resources. So what we want to do is look to third parties, be that um, government agencies, NGOs or others who work in these areas so that they can really take the models that we've developed and then increase the, I guess, upscale the work and take it to other areas as well. So initially probably in the Northwest, but then further afield. So if we can develop a sustainable model within the Northwest, then that can be replicated in other areas within Vietnam. So that's something that we're focusing on very much in terms of um, particularly the Vietnamese Women's Union, looking at how can we actually implement that sort of model. Thank you Dr. Susie Newman for uh, joining our program today. And that is also the end of our program Sharing Vietnam. For comments and feedbacks, please send it to sharingvietnam at netvietb.net. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.